Hey guys, welcome back to Simply A Better You. I wanted to share with you guys that the month of October is going to look a little different and this may be something that is permanent and carrying forward, but we're going to dive into health this month and we're going to be sharing healthy recipes, healthy habits, healthy lifestyle. And nothing here is going to be complicated because if you guys know me, I don't do complicated. I'm simple. I'm a regular person. I prefer simple. So the month of October, we're going to dive into this. And the reason why I have chosen to do this is because I want to share with you guys my health journey. I've been on it for a year and I just went and had my uh, regular yearly checkup and my cholesterol numbers, they don't look good. And they were fine about six months ago, but after my mother passed away, um, I got off track. I did. I started to eat very unhealthy again, a little bit here and a little bit there. And because of that, my numbers have gone back up. Now, I did bring my cholesterol down. I cut it in half. I was approaching 300 and I mean sliced it in half and I got those numbers down and I did it within six months. I also lost 75 pounds. I reduced and regulated my blood pressure. I was able to come off of two of my blood pressure medications and I now take a very small dose only once a day versus where I was taking it twice a day and two different kinds. Um, and I've actually regulated my thyroid. My thyroid is working. Now I, I have hypothyroidism, I am on medication, but where I was at 250, I am down to 88. So things are working. I feel better now than I have felt over the last 25 years, which is amazing. My body doesn't hurt inflammation is down, I am not bloated, I don't have all the heartburn, I can sleep at night. Did you all hear that? I can sleep at night. Do you know what it feels like to wake up three and four times a night? It is so aggravating. You lay there in bed and you're staring at the ceiling and you're staring at the clock waiting for the alarm to go off and you can't go to sleep or it takes you forever to fall asleep. I thought everybody was like this. I thought Everybody took an hour laying in bed before they fell asleep. Apparently, I'm weird. But I didn't realize that. I, I had no idea that waking up all those times at night and not being able to go back to sleep and having anxiety and depression and, you know, just that, that feeling of, of just, I don't feel good. I thought it was normal. I thought, okay, this is the way I am and this is the way it's going to be and there's nothing I can do about it. I didn't realize that there was something I could do about it and I am so grateful that I listened to that small voice that said, this isn't right. This isn't normal. You are destined for more. You are worthy. You are valued and you deserve and can be healthy and it absolutely is achievable I have listened to multiple doctors tell me this is genetic you can't beat this this is genetic you'll never be able to win there's nothing you can do you're going to end up having to take medication, so we might as well start you now. Or, you know, we appreciate you trying to do the hard work, but obviously we can see that it's not working. I have been told that over and over and over again. Dieting and dieting and dieting and nothing working. Me trying to figure out why my body doesn't work? Why doesn't it do what it's supposed to do? Why can't I lose weight? Why can't I wear nice swimsuits? Why do I have all these health problems? Why do I have dry skin and heartburn and indigestion and bloating? Why can't I sleep? Why do I have headaches all the time? Why does my body hurt? Why am I tired all day? 
probably because I wasn't sleeping. But to be tired all day, the brain fog. I know you guys know what this is, where you're just kind of walking around in a fog and you can't think and you're trying to think and you're like, why isn't my brain working? I have lived that way for over 20 years. It's miserable. I wouldn't want anybody to live like that. And I thought it was normal. Even when I would share it with my mom, she lived the same way. You know, a lot of people in my family were very unhealthy, having thyroid conditions, cholesterol problems, high blood pressure, diabetes. Most of us are overweight. It was like it was it was all there. And genetics, they're like, you can't beat it. You've avoided diabetes this long, but it'll probably catch up with you. So we'll monitor that too. And every time I'd go to the doctor, the very first thing they would ask me is, how long have you been diabetic? And I'm like, I'm not diabetic. There's nothing wrong with my blood sugar. And then they do that quick look up and down and it's like, it's almost offensive. But guys, I know what it feels like to feel so defeated, but I also know what the victory feels like as well. And the victory is amazing. And it's there, it is very attainable. You absolutely can do this. And I am more than happy to walk this journey with you. I'll walk it with you, I'll run it with you. We can jump and skip whatever it takes. So in order to do this, you guys are going to need to share your journey with me. Um, comment below. I'm going to post this on Facebook and Instagram as well as YouTube. So comment below, share your journey. If you guys don't want to do that, you can always private message me. I am happy to message you guys back. I love the comments. I love the community that we are building here. We are sharing, you know, our lives together and a lot of us can't get out of our house so you know what better way than to find community on social media or through the internet to to build some friendships guys we all need that that is part of our happiness community is so very very important so share down below what does your health journey look like are you struggling are you succeeding what have been some of your successes? Share the highs and the lows. Tell us what's working and what's not working. I know that I can't be the only one that wants to know because everybody is struggling with something. No matter how pretty the package looks on the outside, we're all struggling with something. So guys, the month of October is going to be amazing because we're going to do this health journey together and this may be something that that sticks that is permanent that carries on you know this will be permanent in my life you know I'm going back to um, no carbs <laughs> oh I love me a potato but I'm going back to no carbs and no sugar and no caffeine so the caffeine thing I'm pretty sure I got licked because I found an amazing herbal coffee that's not coffee and it tastes amazing it's the holy grail of coffee substitutes I am blown away with this it is it's amazing and it's an herb oh and if, for some of this this stuff might actually be growing out in your yard which that in itself to know that I can actually grow this in my yard and pull it out and clean it up and chop it up and make coffee is great, but I would rather buy it. Um, I can't wait to share this with you guys. So that'll be later this week. I will be sharing uh, my coffee substitute and how I've managed to get away from coffee and the caffeine, um, how I've changed some health habits and how I have made them permanent so that they are successful health habits how I was able to give up sugar. Guys, <laughs> that's hard. It is very hard, but there are some things that you can do 
that will make it easier. It will help the cravings. It'll help get you past that point of feeling like you're gonna pull your hair out because you can't have a chocolate chip cookie or put a tablespoon of sugar in your coffee. <laughs> so it definitely helps. There's also a lot of carb substitutes. So, you know, I can't have potatoes. Not because it's a carb, I can't have carbs, but guys, I'm allergic to potatoes. I have a food intolerancy and it's potatoes. Um, that's horrible. That is absolutely horrible. I love potatoes. Mashed potatoes, fried potatoes, baked potatoes. You can put bacon and cheese, sour cream on top. I love potatoes and potatoes are one of the most cheapest and simplest things that you can add to meals. So that took my grocery budget and just tossed it right out the window. I'm like, what do you mean I can't eat potatoes? It's bad enough that I have a problem with, with the gluten and pasta and bread, but now I can't have potatoes either? That's cruel. <laughs> it's cruel, but Guys, we found a way around it. I have an amazing naturopathic doctor. The man is brilliant. He has given me tons of resources, which I am going to share with you. And he has given me tons of encouragement. You know, definitely able to share stories with me of things that he has experienced and has experienced with some other patients that he has discovered and them sharing their stories and their successes. So there is a total way around the carbs, around the potatoes. There are other things out there you can eat that taste like potatoes. Yes, yes there is. <laughs> and I'll be sharing one of those recipes with you this week. We are making a Caribbean plantain bowl. And guys, plantains is, I think, better than potatoes. I mean, of course it's healthier for you, but they taste better. I just, wow. Doesn't taste like a banana. It may look like a banana, but it doesn't taste like a banana. It will blow you away. So I cannot wait to share that recipe with you guys this week. I'll be sharing with you the, the coffee substitute and some other great recipes that are either no carb or very, very light on carbs because you know, the other people in my house eat carbs, so I'm kind. I'll give them a potato here and there. And um, I'll share with you guys what I use to substitute uh, my carbs and what I use to substitute my sugar. Also, um, I won't actually be touching any sugar for 60 days. I'm going to go on a detox and then slowly introduce things. Um, a lot of people will do like a 30 day detox I, I don't work that way. Um, I've done it before and my doctor and I did 60 days because not only are we working on optimizing my health, but we're also focusing in on blood sugar, my thyroid, my insulin levels, my liver. So, you know, there's a lot of things that are connected and all work together and it seems to all fall around this little thyroid gland of mine that is trying so desperately to work. So my journey is a little different than yours, so I will and probably do some things that are a lot different than you do. That's why I want us to share so we can share with each other as to why we do these things. And my journey may be a little different or a lot different than your journey, but that doesn't mean that your journey may not be similar to someone else's. So I share a lot of health issues that a friend at my church shares, but she has a completely different health issue than myself. And hers is chronic and it is all the time. And she is on this same journey with me. She was doing really well and then slowly started to introduce those bad things again, got completely off track. Her health tanked to the point she couldn't function. and she knew exactly what she did but she was able to just like I am able to pick ourselves back up we know what we need to do we know how we need to do it and we get back on track 
There's none of this feeling bad for ourselves. We don't look down on ourselves. We're not putting ourselves down. There is no shame in this and there is no guilt in this. Absolutely none. We are human and we make mistakes and food is a very, very powerful thing. So I know you guys have probably heard me say before, don't get lost in your feelings and your emotions. Those can be very, very deceiving. Know your facts. You know you. You know yourself better than anybody else. I know exactly why I enjoy putting sugar in my coffee or my tea. I know exactly why I love to pick up a warm, buttery roll and eat it. Because it tastes good. <laughs> I know that that apple pie is going to break me out in a rash, but I'm not going to die. <laughs> so it tastes good. I'm going to eat it. <laughs> Guys, I know me. I know exactly why I do some of the dumb things that I do, but that doesn't mean that it has to be permanent or that there has to be guilt in it and shame or that it, it's, this is what defines me. My food does not define who I am. I know who I am. So guys, I invite you, join me on this health journey, share your health journey with the rest of us and walk with me in this. If you guys need some extra encouragement, hit me up. I will be happy to jump on here and share some success stories. And that's really what we need to hear is the success stories you know, where we came from and how we got to where we are now. So guys, I thank you as always. I love you guys and I cannot wait to share this journey with you. I'll talk to you later.